How's it going, 8 Imaging fans? Today's Tuesday, so you know what that means. Tuesday 2-Minute Tutorial. That's right, it's Tuesday 2-Minute Tutorial. If you've recently purchased one of our IPPTZ cameras or our newest HD NDI 200 POV camera, you'll notice that there's an IP address that you can use to connect to to see a preview or even change the image parameters of the camera via that IP address. Sometimes, however, when you connect to it, you'll get errors such as site cannot be reached or a loading bar that never ends. Today, we're going to address those issues and how to fix that. So without further ado, let's get started. So the reason why you're unable to connect is because your router or switch is running on a completely different network than your HD NDI 200 is. The best way to determine this is to find your local IP address on your computer. For time's sake, I'll be using a PC to get this done, but if you do have a Mac, please search up how to find your local IP address on Google and start following the steps after I find the IP address on PC. For PC, let's go to the bottom left corner and type in CMD. Press enter and you will get the command prompt. Once open, you will type in IP config. Press enter again. Once that is complete, you will get a small or big list depending on the connections to your computer. You are interested in the one that either says wireless or ethernet adapter, as well as an IPv4 address. Notice how my IPv4 address is 192.168.254.53. This is different from the default of the camera, which is 192.168.1.188. So how do we fix this? First, write down the local IPv4 address as seen. In my case, it was the number that I read to you. Once you get that, you're going to take your HD NDI 200 to an HDMI TV and connect it. Once you get an image, enter the settings, and then look for network. This is where what you wrote down comes in handy. You're going to take the first three set of numbers that you wrote down and copy them into the HD NDI 200 IP address. Once you change them, they'll look something like this. Remember this number as it will be your new IP address that you type in your computer. After that, you're going to head down to Gateway and you'll do the same exact thing, except this time you're going to leave the last number as it is, 1. This needs to be the same on every device on that network for them to communicate. Once you get all that done, Go ahead and exit the HD NDI 200 menu and restart the camera by pulling the plug. Once that's done, go ahead and replug it and try to connect to the new IP address that you wrote down. If you follow these steps, you should see the login page. From there, you can enter the default username and pass, admin admin. And done. If you do have any problems with this, please leave your troubleshooting questions in the comments below. I'll go ahead and get back to you as fast as I can. Two minutes is pretty short, especially on a topic like this, but I was still able to pull it off. If you did like this content, please leave a like, comment, subscribe, and don't forget to ring that notification bell as always so you don't ever miss a two minute Tuesday. If you do have any suggestions as well, also leave them in the comments. This is Justin, signing off.